Hello friends and nature lovers. Welcome to another Nature Drawing Wednesday with your friends from the Peel Field Centers. Feel free to pause this video at any point so that you can easily follow along at your own speed. Today we are going to draw a tiger beetle. We're going to start with the head. Now the head on a tiger beetle contains two very large eyes right at the sides right here. Just gonna color those in real quick. There's one and there's two. Now the tiger beetle's head also has mandibles, which are big mouth parts for eating and they are eaters. They love to eat all kinds of other insects. They also have a little feeler that's right in here and they have antennas that come off their head as well. So we'll do two, two, and then just curve that around. Like that. Now attached to the head is the thorax. And so we're just going to do a little curve right here. And then we're going to bring that out like that and around almost looks like a turtleneck and attached to the thorax are six pairs of legs and the wings uh, so although it looks like it's on the abdomen they are all attached kind of underneath here so from here I'm going to do the wings this is the outer hard casing that protects the inner wings and they come down and around, down and around. So underneath this are two softer wings for flying. Now they have uh, long legs and they're extremely fast runners. So we're gonna do our six legs just by doing one, two, I'm going to put another little part on here and then the little feet and there's little hairs on here for grooming, for running across the, the soil and for uh, helping to grab onto prey. So we're going to do that a couple times so that we have six legs. That little spike couple hairs just like that and we'll do one more little spike couple hairs like that and we'll do the same on the other side Now you may see these guys out as the warmer weather starts to come. They're an excellent bioindicator of an environment. They can't self-regulate their heat and so uh, they're gonna be out trying to stay cool where they can when it's too hot outside. Uh, and they're super cool. If you've ever seen one, uh, their shells here, their exterior, uh, come in many different colors around the world. But here in Ontario, generally we see a bright iridescent green one. And they're fast runners, fast flyers, uh, and they're a really neat looking species. So because I don't have iridescent uh, paints, I'm going to just use a green marker. Uh, and in the hard wing section here, I'm just going to do a couple of blue stripes that hopefully will pop out a little bit. Some tiger beetles will have extra markings on their uh, hard outer wings here, the four wings, and some don't. Uh, in certain parts of the world, some tiger beetles actually produce cyanide, uh, which will kill other insects. Uh, and I haven't heard that around this area that's a thing, 
uh, but they are the brightly colored ones are a warning to let other creatures know they don't taste good and that they are potentially dangerous so it does help to protect them so I'm just doing stripes here because often if you look closely at a tiger beetle that's what you're gonna see So I'm just going to color in the thorax here. And it does kind of look like a heart shape. And then the head. The little feelers. And the antennas. Uh, the legs are going to be black, so I'll just give those a quick little fill-in, which I could have done while I was drawing them, but sometimes you want to wait and save all the color till the end. Now, in the abdomen section underneath here, that's where all the organs are that are responsible for digestion, reproduction. Uh, but the cool thing is there's actually uh, two ears in there which help them hear high frequency sounds kind of like bats so that they can hear their prey. Pretty cool bug. I'm just going to put a couple of white details in here for the shine. And again sometimes you will see little spots on there. So I'll put a couple of those in. And there we have it, folks, our tiger beetle. Thanks for joining. Hope to see you next Wednesday. Feel free to share your drawings on your social media sites or on ours using the hashtag PeelConnected. See you next time.